Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 24th. But you know, today I'm going to really reiterate that the timing is fluid. A lot of people don't get that. I mean, they re a lot. Most of you do. But we got these people that are not awakened. They're not very spiritual. They've just tuned into tarot readings and they watch it and they think it's oh, it's gonna. Ha this doesn't. This didn't happen today, so it must be wrong. That's not true. The timing is fluid. That means that it could happen at any time. This is what's to come. And this reading is not sign specific. I still get comments. Who's this for? This is something that is to come. But you need to keep in mind that the timing is different. We're, out, we're, we're not all the same. Everybody's on different timelines. And not every single reading that you watch is for you. A lot of people don't get that. They write stupid comments. On, and, you know, I've said this before below. I get a stupid comment below that says something stupid. Oh, that wasn't for me. Well, what the fuck? Or, or I'm not looking for love. Why'd you watch it then? If it doesn't resonate with you, give it time. Or accept that it might not be for you. I find that these tend to resonate within a few days, typically. But I've had people say that it's happened a month later. What do we have? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Five of Swords reversed. Now, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? There's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of conflict, a power struggle, right? This is this is like, who's going to win? I want to win at all costs. Now, is it about winning or is it about peace? Is it about being happy? That's a choice that you need to make. Now, when you get this in reverse, it can mean a couple of different things. There could be some bloodshed. It could be an all-out war. It could be a volatile situation where somebody gets arrested because they just want to win or it can be um deciding i don't want to fight i don't want to i don't want this war anymore um there could be some public humiliation as well <gasps> the hangman reverse now there could definitely be some punishment here i mean both with both of these cards because this is like I mean, the Five of Swords is like a battle. It's a serious struggle. Fighting. So this would be punishment. It really, really, really could. Somebody is refusing to let go. They're obsessed with control, not learning their lessons. They have a really lot big ego, a whole lot of pride. You know, they want to they want to win at all costs and now, you know, they could they could be, you know, being getting arrested. Somebody could end up and I'm you know, we had this message a similar one the other day. We got somebody here that refuses to learn their lessons. Now they they want to win, you know. They want and they maybe they were publicly humiliated. Now they got a point to prove. You know, this is public humiliation. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm that, that's SOB. You know, I'm going to get them back. Well, they could end up in jail or prison or arrested or something like that. Somebody that is trying to prove a point that they are the strongest, whatever, you know, that they're the winner. This is somebody who has a huge ego right here. Very egotistical. Now, this is a very volatile situation. Yeah, that's what we got here. We have a volatile situation that is unfolding here. It looks like there's going to be some sort of uh, punishment because of it. This is punishment. It is. There's punishment. It's almost like I'm going to punish you. You know, that's kind of like punishment. It is. The hangman is about punishment. It is. So it's like I'm going to punish you for what you did, for the betrayal, for what you did to me, for how you hurt me. But ending up getting punished themselves. So interesting. Three of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely some hurt from the hurt that was caused for hurting me. I'm going to punish you. Punish you for hurting me. I knew it. I knew it anyway. So this is um, trying to release the pain. 
there is an opportunity to see things from a new perspective and let go of the pain though so there's it's a choice it is a choice you can choose to fight and end up in jail or in prison or under arrest or you can choose to just be happy and not fight and let the past hurts go let the pain go if, you know forgive whatever because three of swords reverse could be forgiveness. So this could be a new perspective. You're, somebody's going to get a new perspective. Whether it be the hard way or not. This is a new perspective that is going to be gained. Temperance. Yes. There's going to be an exchange. This is an exchange. This is about um, needing to manage feelings. Be patient. Except now the temperance card comes after death. So after something has ended, maybe it's it, it's time to accept that this new perspective, accept, accept this change, stop fighting, stop holding on to the past, stop holding on to the pain. Maybe it's time to release that pain because maybe there was a reason. Maybe it's time to stop punishing the other person that hurt you or vice versa. Somebody is about to take on a new perspective and do things differently. And it's because they're ready for change. Maybe they're starting to realize there was a reason that happened. There was a purpose. There's something better. The temperance, there's something better. There's a need to uh, be grounded, you know, but there's also a need to be fluid, right? With the temperance card to, you know, everything changes. There's a reason why things happen. Stop holding on. Now, this is the hangman reverse to stop. Let go. Let go of that pain. Let go of the fight. Stop fighting. It's time to be happy. Okay. It's time to be happy. Now, the temperance card is also um, a renewal. This is also self-discipline. Self-discipline. Self both these cards to change. So somebody is needing to find the self-discipline to change because there's something better. And it's like they get this new perspective because that's what this is. It's time to let this pain go. It's time to stop fighting. But for somebody here that is watching this, there's good, they're still fighting. And they could end up, the person, okay, the person that is still fighting could end up in jail, could end up under arrest. Ten of Wands reverse, letting it go, letting the baggage go, letting the burden go. Stop holding on to that burden that you've been carrying around, that baggage of the past. Seriously, something has ended. This comes after the, this comes after the death card, right? So something has ended. It's accept the ending, let it go. What's that song? Let it go. I mean, I don't know it, but let it go. It's time to let it go. Temperance is about time. It's time to accept and let it go. So yeah, letting go of that baggage, letting go of that burden, letting go of the fight, letting go of the need to fight. I mean, letting go is huge. Okay. It's it's right here, both these cards and the temperance is a, so that you can get something better. And this is, you know, so there's angel, there's like an angel that is, has something better for you. Okay. That it does. Now what comes after death? A new beginning, a new life. So yeah, we have a new beginning here. We do. But it's when somebody lets go. They let go of their fight. They let go of holding on to the pain. Uh, you know, it's it's beginning to heal, beginning to realize. That's what we got. Beginning to realize that there's something better. So this is a new perspective. King of Swords. So this is an investigator, a professional, somebody that is very intelligent, um, decisive the king of swords is very decisive he makes a decision and he sticks to it so that's the energy you need to take on be wise and the king of swords looks at it from every angle and it and is very smart so this is a very smart individual very wise professional investigator does his homework. It looks to me like he's uh, he's made his decision. Ooh, there's a new love here. There's a new opportunity for love. So we have somebody here that has made a decision. And this is a choice. And this is a choice between two. 
It really is. So there is definitely a choice between two. So there's, there's a, there's a, it's like, and this happens unexpectedly. So, and again, we have an angel here that is bringing two people together. These, this is unexpected. It's not the usual type. It, it happened all of a sudden. Could be dealing with a Libra, uh, Aquarius, Gemini. We have Pisces. We have Sagittarius. Um, we have Gemini again, but this is an unexpected opportunity or an unexpected choice in love, but this is also a card of consequences because you have to make a choice. This is, this is about a choice. You have to choose. Do you want to, there's always a choice with this card. There's a choice between two paths. There's a choice between two people. You can, you can continue to hold on to the one, the baggage of the past or you can go for this thing that is better, this this new life, okay, after the death of what you're still holding on to. So somebody has been holding on to something that is dead, okay? It's just the way it goes. I can't make it up, okay? And it's time to get um, real, to be logical. It, like It's like this is, a, this is an opportunity for love. It's not who you thought it was. It's not this person that hurt you. It's somebody else. So that's what we got here. This is somebody else. It's not the person that hurt you. It's not. So I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. So we got these people up here that that uh, are holding on for dear life. You know, they don't want to accept the ending. And, and it's like they're punishing themselves. Maybe you're in your own prison. You're keeping yourself in prison. You're keeping yourself in jail by not releasing that pain. By not releasing that, that um, loss. By holding on to that grief, this death that happened of a situation, what happened for a purpose, that temperance is a card of purpose. It happened for a reason. There is something better. This is unexpected. It's a perfect match. It's beautiful. It's not who you thought it was. You never saw it coming, but here it is. This is a chance for a better life. It's a chance for a beautiful, compatible union with somebody that you share values with. Somebody that you are in alignment with. But it's your choice. You can choose to hold on to the dead end. Or you can choose to move forward, you know. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to be unhappy and fight and, and hold on to something that is dead and is weighing you down? This is weighing you down. It's holding you back. It's killing you. Stress kills. So, you know, there's an opportunity to fall in love with somebody if you can let go of the past pains, let go of what you're hanging on to, and accept change. So, yes, there's a new opportunity for love here. That has happened. It has come unexpectedly. This is an opportunity to heal. This person that is coming in can help you to heal. There's a lot of healing energy here. It's a healing love. It can help you to heal from this pain. It can help you to, help you to uh, let go of what you've been hanging, this baggage, this burden, this, this overwhelming feeling of loneliness. Okay, it can help you. But there's a lack of confidence. There's a lack. There's a lot of self doubt. Um, <laughs> the Queen of Wands reversed. There's, there's, uh, being, wanting to be in control. The queen of wands in reverse is very controlling. Uh, may have a self image problem. You know, so you may have somebody here that, that feels like they're not good enough. Feels like they need to lose weight or they're not healthy. You know, this is unhealthy. And this is losing weight. Maybe they feel like they need to lose weight or they don't look good enough or they're not pretty enough or they're not good enough. That's, that's a self-image. So the Queen of Wands reverse somebody with a self-image problem. Or maybe they feel like they're too skinny. Or they just don't look good enough. Self-image problem. We have somebody here who has a self-image problem. But whoever this person is, they don't care. This person, this person doesn't care. This person, um, is very interested. Sees everything completely clearly. Two of Swords reversed. Uh, you need to you need to open up. You need to you need to let your guard down.
there's there's extreme worry here there's extreme worry extreme anxiety and i feel like we have somebody that is being overly cautious because they're trying to protect themselves there's a level of indecision and this is definitely there's a level of indecision because of looks i think it's because of looks how things look somebody is is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again this guy has made up his mind and he knows what he wants the king of swords knows what he wants when he wants it he wants it he knows what he wants this is exposure so something is being seeing the truth. So he sees, he sees the truth. He sees everything. I mean, this guy is very smart, so very intelligent. It's like nothing can be hidden. He's very um, intelligent. So we have a very intelligent individual here who, who knows. This guy knows that somebody is trying to protect themselves because of if they feel inadequate or something like that. But this is a soulmate connection. The lovers. It's meant to be. But we could have somebody here that is holding on to some sort of resentment because of their past hurts. So they're having a hard time opening up. They're having a hard time coming together because of their self-image problem, because of their low self-esteem and their low self-confidence, because of the rejection that they, you know, dealt with in the past. You know, the rejection has made them feel like they were unworthy, like they weren't good enough. So it's like, they have, I'll never be good enough. So, you know, there's there's fear here. But... I do feel like things are about to open up. This is a connection that is easy, easily felt. It's been brought together. These two people have been brought together from above. I don't know if I showed you this or not. I think I did, but I'm, I'm just keep on going. So the, yeah, this is this is being brought together from above. It happened very suddenly, I believe. Um, it, but it's a perfect match. Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Six of Pentacles reversed. This is about lack of reciprocation, unfair, injustice. Somebody has abused their power. There's been some sort of greed. Somebody has been greedy. They have, they were in a one-sided situation where there was inequality or whatever. They just weren't getting what they deserved. That's why there's fear. That's why there's fear. And this person can see. This person can see why there's fear. This person can see that the person, whoever it is that they're coming together with, is fearful of being taken advantage of, per se. Now, the Six of Pentacles reversed is... Uh, An injustice of some sort. Now this could even be a, I mean, the king of, the king of swords could be, now it's funny because something, somebody could be taken away. Now this could be a, a law official. I know I'm changing the story and remember I said punishment and this just came to me. So I'm wondering if somebody is going to I don't know. There could be some sort of abuse here or something like that. There's something going on. There could be a fight or there could be something that happens where there's another woman. When the Queen of Wands comes up and her womb reading it, there could be another woman. And and so there could be a fight. Okay, there could be a fight. Um, because somebody has chosen somebody else. And there's been some some double loyalty Okay, some dual loyalty. But now I think a decision has been made. This guy is very decisive. He's made a decision. It looks like he's chosen to let somebody go. He has chosen to let somebody go. Somebody that has hurt him in the something. Somebody from the past. Some sort of pain. Something He's chosen to let something go. And I think that we have somebody that could get very upset. It could be, I mean, you think about the first card, that could be war. <laughs> Five of Swords reverse, I mean, it could be. I mean, we get this, 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 this Queen of Wands in reverse is very revengeful. Okay, she is. She's very revengeful. She's controlling. She doesn't like to lose. She likes to be in control at all times. She likes to be the boss. She's melodramatic. She she's manipulative. She lies sometimes. She's self righteous. She's entitled. 
So we may have somebody here that is feeling like, you know, I want to win at all costs. So they may, somebody may get very upset and this could be an exchange. It could be an exchange of something because, you know, this person gets very upset that, that they weren't chosen. There's another love here. There's a choice between two lovers and that's the friggin' truth. But somebody's being let go. And I think the person that is being let go could get very upset. There could definitely be a fight. You know, there's three people on that card. So there's there definitely could be a fight. There could be an altercation, put it that way. Um doesn't have to be. But this is there's a, there's a chance for something better here. This guy sees it, he knows it, he wants the better life. He's done he's done holding on to this baggage. He's wants to let it go. I think he's made up his mind. He wants to move forward. He's got another opportunity for love. And the only way he can accept it is to choose to let go of, well, it looks like it's an unrequited love situation over here because I don't got any love in these cards. But this person over here was probably hoping for a reconciliation. You know, they wanted a reconciliation or they wanted to be chosen. And when they find out that they're not chosen, they're going to throw a fit. We got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody throws a hysterical fit. So somebody may throw a fit and somebody could end up getting going to jail or getting arrested or something because, I mean, the law could end up stepping in because there's a fight. I mean, I just got to be honest here. Um, I feel sorry for the for the for the guy, honestly. Anyhow, um, this man has made a decision. He knows what he has to do. Um. God, we have the Empress in reverse. Yeah, so this is like, this could be the mother of his children or uh, or of his child. Or it's just a very needy woman. The Empress in reverse is somebody who doesn't take very good care of her children. She doesn't take very good care of herself when she's pregnant. She doesn't take very good care of the house. She's lazy. Um, she's could be ill, the Empress in reversed. Uh, she's forceful and, and this is forceful as well. So we have a very forceful, wants, wants it her way and very controlling. So we have a very controlling feminine here. This feminine will not, she wants it her way and her way only. She is very entitled. It's very interesting, very similar energies right here. So it is very, somebody that is very, very entitled. This this per, this woman is a mess. She's mean spirited. She's selfish. She's an absent mother. Okay, she doesn't. She just she just she has a child or she whatever. And even if she doesn't, this is a woman who is very needy. If she has a child, she doesn't take very good care of the child. She brings her to her parents' house all the time. You know, or to the babysitter. She doesn't really want the child. She wants to say she has a child, but she doesn't really take care of the child. That's the Empress in reverse, you know. The child is always, like, miles away while she's doing her own thing. Very jealous energy here. So we have a very jealous uh, feminine here who is probably about to cause some problems because who wants... And she's... And she's uh, the Empress in reverse is somebody that doesn't know her value, so... She's begging for attention constantly, so she she gets um, people that see that, okay? She gets people that don't value her because she doesn't value herself, okay? So she's, nobody wants her. She's so needy. She's high maintenance. She sleeps around. She needs constant attention. So this man is choosing somebody else. There's no growth here. There could be, you know, I'm not sure what is going on, but there's somebody is being taken. And I'm not sure, and I don't know, I don't want to scare anybody, but this, this empress in reverse is losing a child, and this is somebody being taken away. So I don't know if a child is going to be taken away. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Or there, or there could be a termination. I mean, this could even be a termination of a pregnancy. I'm being honest with you. 
or a miscarriage. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but the Empress in Reversed is, you know, a mother that isn't She's so selfish that her children do not come first, ever. It's all about her looks. Very huge self-image problem here. So anyway, um, yeah, we have a self-image problem. Anyway, there's a decision that is about to be made. I think it's very sudden. Although this guy is so smart, he's definitely thought about it. He's thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. But I think now he's come to the point where he's ready. He's ready for this change. He's ready to move on. He's made his decision. He's done the invest. There's been some sort of investigation as well. This is an investigation investigator. Maybe even been a private investigator. I'm not sure what is going on, but this is an investigation. Now we have the we have the six of wands on re, in reverse, oh, not in reverse on the bottom. That's like a hero, somebody that has, you know, just come out of a battle, has just come out of a competition, has has worked really hard to overcome some sort of uh, very difficult situation, and they made it. And now they're they're highly respected and. <coughs> being recognized for the, their nobility. So somebody is going to be recognized for their nobility, for doing the right thing, for persevering through a tough situation. We do have a winner here. So anyway, I feel like there's an unexpected choice in love here. There's an unexpected coming together of two people. This is a uh, perfect match. But this only happens after somebody um, lets go of the one-sided situation where there's no reciprocation and there's no love. Because the love is over here, not over here. And that's what I got. Good luck.